Absolutely not. No. Don't show me. Hi and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for coming to watch and if you are new please subscribe. I've just had my little girl Indy. She is nearly four months um, and today I'm going to be doing a video on uh, her, well her, my uh, elective c-section and how it all came about, how I found it and my experience of a c-section. Okay, we will be doing the video with Indy today. So, as you know, I had, oh, if you've watched my previous videos, you will know that she was born on the 18th of April, 2018. So, nearly four months ago. I think it's four months next week. So, she was born via an elective C-section. We decided to have a C-section because at her 36-week scan, they actually scanned me at 36 weeks because they thought she was going to be a really big baby. So, that was their main concern. In that scan, they saw that she was breached, that so she was the other way up and did not look like she was going to be turning anytime soon. So from that appointment, we discussed the options of having a C-section or manually turning her. The doctor discussed with me um, manually turning her and I actually opted out of that because... They said they can manually try and turn her. One, it's very, very uncomfortable and it can cause like stress for the baby. And there's no actual guarantee that the baby's gonna stay that way anyway. So they could do all of that, put us through all of that, me and the baby. And then she could just decide actually, no, nah, I'm gonna turn back around. Like I am not coming out this way. So I declined that one. Oh, also um, the cord can be wrapped around the neck like the likeliness of the cord it's not super high but it is obviously like there is a chance of that happening having the cord wrapped around the neck because of the way they're turning the baby which then ends up in an elective c i'm sorry in a emergency c-section anyway which i did not want to go down the path the c-section already scared me enough let alone an emergency C-section. Like, I just don't even think I could handle that. We opted for a elective C-section. So they chose the date actually on that day. And then we got the letter in the mail to say that the date was the 18th of April, 2018. And to be there at 7 o'clock in the morning. I did ask her as well. It wasn't actually that appointment, but a couple appointments down. Because we had to have weekly appointments, which you do anyway. Um, so they did weekly scans. On her to see if she had moved or not which she didn't I did ask the doctor if we come in on the 18th of April in the morning ready for the c-section bags are packed what happens if the baby has moved like how like what are we gonna do she said if the baby's moved like that's great and oh sorry interrupted by the post and I think this is her passport so where was I I was up to we didn't want to have... Oh no, so I asked the doctor, yes, if we went in and she had turned, what was going to happen? And basically we would be sent home without a baby and we would wait to go into natural labour. Which is good because I would not want to have a C-section and that massive surgery if it wasn't necessary. I kind of crossed my fingers that she wouldn't turn but at the same time... I hoped that she would because I really didn't want to have to go through that surgery as well. Like I was very scared and of the unknown. So fast forward to the 18th of April, everything was packed. We got ready, you know, got up early in the morning, went down to the hospital for seven o'clock. Um, and I think we were the third people in line. So there was two more people in front of us. Yeah, there was two more people in front of us, so we were the third in line. Um, so we had, you know, we went in, like, waited for, you know, them to call you. Oopsie. Waited for them to call us in. They were discussing, like, what was going to happen. And then they got me gowned up, ready to go with the socks and everything on. Those, like, compression stockings. And then they did a scan. And I was thinking, oh, my gosh. I thought they would have done that, like, far earlier. Oh, I keep knocking her head. Far earlier so that I could have just gone home instead of like hyping me up that I was going to have this baby and then oh anyway so luckily oh what's happened what happened huh anyway so she hadn't turned she was still breech 
So they went ahead and took me down to the theatre room. Um, I did actually tell them that I was... I did actually tell them that I get very nauseous with the with those pain meds that they give you. So they actually had it ready so that they gave it me like the pain meds and the epidural and stuff and then the um, anti-nausea medication at the same time. So when they took me down, I was so nervous. I couldn't speak. I like didn't want anyone to talk to me. It, I, it was the most nerve wracking experience I have had, but they were amazing like the staff there were absolutely amazing they made me feel comfortable as possible like they couldn't have done a better job it was just my nerves of the unknown of what was going to happen and having absolutely no control laying there and you just can't move like you can't like you've got your arms yes but you just cannot move it was oh, it was so so insane so they put the epidural in got me all ready I was like laying on the bed, yeah, couldn't move, and and then I just feel this like pressure and tugging, and it hit me that I was open on a theatre table with my stomach cut open and a baby half out. I was freaking out at that point. I hate blood, so they said, did I want to have a look? With a mirror over the top while she was coming out, absolutely not. No, don't show me. Don't show me anything. A little piece of blood like splattered on that blue screen that they've got in front of you. Oh my gosh, I nearly passed out. It was, it was like the, it was like a speck, like literally like a speck. But I thought if the blood is like coming from my stomach all the way up to here, like what does it look like down there? It was very... Yeah, I felt like super, super emotional as well. But I was also so excited that, like, I knew that I was Sorry. cut an interruption again. Some random numbers trying to call me and I do not answer random numbers. Even though I was, even though I knew I was open, I was freaking out a little bit. I also knew that she was, like, nearly here. And I, oh, I just felt so emotional, so excited. Like, I couldn't wait to see her. And it was amazing. It was so, like, just to see her in, like, real life, it was so amazing. But I did think, whoa, that kid has a big head. Yes, you have a big head. So glad that didn't have to come out my fanny. Yes. Oh, I know. I'm not being mean. But you do have a big head, don't you? Super. It was just amazing. It was so... Such a crazy experience. But all so worth it. So she came out and they took her off to do um, all her little, you know, obs and cut the cord, put a nappy on, like make sure she was okay, weigh her, all of that stuff. And I had like a TV screen and like just to the side of me that was on her so I could see everything that they were doing. After they did that, they brought her straight back over to me and I was able to have skin to skin with her, which was amazing. But because I felt so out of it, I just did not feel comfortable holding her on me like I just kept on thinking that she was gonna like fall off me or like my arms I just felt so weak and so I ended up asking them just to take her off me because I did not want her like falling on the floor or anything just did not feel good at all I felt so so out of it um, so they so they ended up taking me to recovery always get this wrong in my head so it was just me going to recovery I keep thinking that she was with me but she wasn't he um my partner had her and then he went and like waited while they took me into the recovery and do oh my gosh my memory is so bad like do whatever they do in there I think they do like they do that ice thing on you to see where you can feel and like how far down you can feel um, gave me like pain meds, like checked everything, um, and then my partner came in with her. And then it was really, really fast. It was like an hour that we were in recovery, and then we went upstairs into the, um, like ward, into the maternity ward. Sorry, I feel like this has just been all over the show. All in all, it was a good experience. The doctors made it like amazing. I didn't I just felt super scared because it was something that I had never done before, but the doctors were like amazing at making me feel as comfortable as they possibly could. And she arrived safely, that is all that mattered is 
that she was here safe. But that was my experience with the C-section and like how my C-section came about, how I felt during it. Um, I will be doing another video of afterwards as well, like the recovery because the recovery was not what I thought. Um, it's so different to a uh, natural birth, so, so different. The whole process is so different. So I will be doing another video on that as well because I have had natural and a C-section, I can like compare them both to. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it's been all over the show. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Please subscribe if you would like to see more updates. Have a fantastic day. Bye.